I am Subodh Gupta from Journalism News Network. In our research, we find that the most people concerns or confusion lies into three categories. The number one, the political aspect. For example, if the EU structure in itself is democratic or is it transparent. So to investigate further, let's ask our honorable member of parliaments. I'm openly skeptical about the European Union. I do not like a lot of things about the European Union. I don't like the way that people do not know who their members of European Parliament are. Nobody I know knows who their MEPs are. There's no accountability or no responsibility where MEPs are concerned. They don't know who their constituents are. Their constituents don't know who they are. Whereas an MP in the House of Commons, everyone knows who their MP is and the MP knows who their constituents are. There's accountability and responsibility. The European Parliament moves for one week in a month to Strasbourg from Brussels. The whole parliament moves. It is ridiculous. What a waste of time and money. Can you imagine if we here in Westminster had to move to Scotland every month for a week or to Ireland every month for a week? It would be ridiculous to do that. The fact that the euro is an absolute disaster. One size cannot fit all. Thank God we didn't join the euro. Schengen, I used to think that Britain lost out on tourist and business visas by not being a member of Schengen. Now, because of the migration crisis and security reasons, we are fortunate not to be in Schengen. So, whichever way you look at it, the European Union has a lot that is wrong with it. There's, but in spite of all that, in spite of all that, I still believe we should remain as part of the European Union. You hear the argument that the European Union tells us what to do and all our laws are formed by the European Union. That is again absolute nonsense. In reality, we do what we want to if we really want to. So, we're part of the European Union, but we're not part of the Euro. We will never join the Euro. We're part of the European Union, we're not part of Schengen. We will not join Schengen. So where is our loss of sovereignty? Do you think that the uh, EU system as a whole is um, democratic in itself? Well. I don't think it's sufficiently democratic, no, but it's more democratic than Westminster. Let me just remind you that we and Britain are the only, you know, if I heard those who are arguing for democracy in Brussels, arguing for democracy in Britain, I'd be a bit more impressed. But look, in Britain, we're the only people who have an, such an unfair electoral system that you have a government elected with less than 25% of the support of the vote. Less than a quarter of the people voted for this government, but it's in with the majority. Is that a democracy? You know, the House of Lords, the second chamber to which I belong, is the only non-elected second chamber in, um, in, in Europe. It has no connection with democracy whatsoever. So, of course, I'd like to see more democracy in Europe, and there are ways we could do that, and I could explain to you what they are. But I'd like to see more democracy in Britain as well, and unless we do that, unless we introduce a fair voting system, unless we introduce a sec elected second chamber, we really can't stand there and point a finger at Europe saying you aren't democratic enough when we're not democratic at all. I mean, a democracy is that you have a bureaucracy that proposes, you have ministers that decide, you have a parliament that scrutinizes. In Brussels, you have a, a bureaucracy that proposes, you have ministers who decide, elected ministers, and you have a parliament that scrutinizes. So, so the parliament doesn't have a power over there. Well, the Parliament does have a power. It has a power to scrutinise. Parliament in Britain doesn't have a power either. It has a power to scrutinise, for instance. So you think that the whole process of system of EU is transparent? It is accountable? No, I didn't say that for a, for a moment. But, uh, but I did, what I did say is that it is a lie. It is a straightforward lie to say that bureaucrats make laws in Brussels who are unelected. It's our elected ministers. Of course I want to see it made more accountable. We elect members of part of European Parliament, but they don't represent constituencies as such. Very few people know who they are. They don't have any real power whatsoever because all the laws, the directives, the regulations have to start with the unelected uh, European Union commissioners. And if you look at who are those European Union commissioners, they're usually people who have been failed politicians or retired politicians in their own country. They can't be kicked out. So at least in this country, when we don't like a government and we don't like what they're doing, we know that we can get rid of them in the next general election. We can't do that with the European Commission. As far as I'm concerned, the European Union is a dysfunctional body. It's a neo-corrupt body. It hasn't had its accounts signed off for years. And it's not working in the interests of working people. Absolutely no transparency about the European Union uh, until the final decision has been made. 
and of course our parliament then is subject to the majority voting in the 28 countries. So we are outvoted a lot of the time, but even if we weren't outvoted, I do not think that that is democratic because our elected politicians have to go along with what the unelected commissioners, then backed up by the Council of Ministers and occasionally the European Parliament will discuss it. But the commissioners get what they want and of course sometimes our laws here can be overruled, our courts can be overruled by the European Court. The EU is emphatically about suppressing democracy. This isn't just an opinion. You look at the three EU institutions. The European Commission is unelected and they're the only people who can propose laws. The uh, European Council of Ministers, in which we have a 12% share of the votes, frequently outvotes us. Qualified majority voting means that basically those we elect no longer really make the decisions, but a, a group of people that aren't answerable to us make those decisions and we've been outvoted repeatedly. In 2010 to 2014, there were about 1,900 votes in the European Parliament. On about 800 occasions, the majority of British MEPs, those we elected in this country, were against the motion. In 84% of times, it went ahead anyway. That's not democracy.